And we're back from the gym with more A Link to the Past. Link has drained, he's worked out, and now he's ready to lift giant rocks. Like a boss. <laughs> so, this is failed audio. I have this annoying habit of accidentally closing out of the audio file before I export it, and then losing it forever. Which is annoyingly annoying. I still haven't said we're outside. I still haven't said we're outside. I'm still everything you said in the last two episodes. And I'm not Red X Parasite. Not anymore, at least. I've died and been reincarnated as another oh, let as another let's player. So here we get to be attacked by tiles in the floor that make fancy patterns. And kill me. Hooray. I really. Who, who came up with the idea for those tiles? I don't like it. I don't like tiles. Like it. They make like designs as they're trying to kill you. It's like, but it's, it's, it's like create. It's, it's creative murder. Yeah. <laughs> well, and there's this weird uh, figure eight left to see. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? Uh, well, the there's forensic a figure eight left to see, and there were shards of tiles in his face. The uh, forensic team discovered some uh, tiles. We're missing from the floor. A very particular pattern. I think it might be a calling card. And lo and behold, the body could not be found because the let's, the let's player controlling this hypothetical scenario decided to use the save state and start to go over again. There's the figure eight. Breaking the fourth wall. Breaking the fourth death. Which is actually not the fourth death. I think it's probably the fifth state. Uh, sort of depressing, but I don't, know. I don't even know what to say about me dying other than failure of it. Took me took me a little while to realize that you have to pick up all the pots. Well actually the key was hidden under a pot. Yeah, exactly. You have to pick up all the pots, you have to pick up a specific pot. Which is the last pot yeah, that I decided to have picked up. Aha! I got the key! I got the key! I have a happy life. It's like some kind of something from space in the years or like or something. On the ground. So, typical Zelda. And for some weird reason, those uh, emos can shoot through walls, but they can't shoot through those statues. That are pretty weird. I don't even know why those lanterns thingies are there. Because that's good. Hey look, I found the key! Probably a load loads times faster than last time. But I honestly don't know why those are there. What purpose do they serve? Oh wait. They're they're a cheap way of Nintendo making you lose magic. Of course. I'm trying not to this before. And then another weird thing uh, that the Beemos can do is they can see you through walls, but they can't see you through those statues. Which are kind of easier to see than walls. And, uh, that, uh, that was me trying to pick the statue through the Beemos, and apparently I can link it to strong. Strong. That is much stronger. Now you're gonna see me complain about the Beemos being able to shoot through walls. Like, that. I'm a fire in the lurch! Now there will be a series of deaths. I've done a lot of times. Probably because I kept on trying to, like, interact with Beemos. Like, aha! I escaped. Finally made out of that room. So, this one finally. Fun. Oh, okay, so now we have those red cyclops things, which are apparently immune to pottery. Pottery! How could you betray me? 
I thought you could kill everything. Apparently not. So we're just gonna have to use my handy bag. Which is quite handy. Unfortunately, we have to use our handy bag. Not very difficult. Another Zelda, another Zelda rule. When in doubt, light lanterns to use Or not. Why do you even think light, light torches is a lantern? Why do you light up your lantern to light the torches? You don't light the lantern with the torches. So bad. Well, this part is going to be interesting because we were originally going to be able to see what the number of others that it was having an effect or not. Which is just this one. But they went against regular video game logic and they did not make them flash red when they got it. Which was so annoying to me. But yeah, I tried to very interesting in playing various other buttons and killing them and stuff And then another one died soon after that, and then the last one died very much soon after that. So, yeah. The only, the only thing made this much more complicated than it needs to be is save states. Well, that, that was just because I was kept on dying. Well, yeah. So now you're gonna see me sort of the ice go on, which I have not even used to any degree yet. Uh, see, I'll use the boomerang. And when they come out of the ground, they like shoot rocks. Yes. Diagonally in one direction, which really doesn't make too much sense. But it is in the ground. Because they always end up hitting me. And like that one did. Maybe you can see any of the notes that can tell the red is not at some point. Ugh, it's bossy. You don't even use the item that you get in the dust procedure. You could like pick up rocks and throw them at them. That would be awesome. Yeah. Or pick up really heavy pottery and throw them one hit. You can always be just like hack a body in the room. You could. You might be might able to take a pot in the room. That would have been amazing. There might have been amazing to try out, but it probably would have killed me one hit. Still, it would have been hilarious. Made that sort of thing. It's like they made the boss and it was just a one try two of us. Still not challenging. Three words! Yeah, let's try three of them. Yeah, that works! <laughs> well, you only put three of them in. That's a great idea. But this, uh, this boss actually reminds me of a uh, boss in Monster Hunter Prime 2. Oh, yeah, uh, this is called, called, like, called the Morbid. Uh, which also involves three words, but was like, probably easier to defeat. <laughs> just because you actually know when you're dancing, because Morbus actually flashes red when you hit it. I mean, I know it's a GameCube game, but compared to a SNES game, but still. Yeah. Basically, what I'm doing at this point is now that we at this point settle the argument of whether or not they. Although I think it's still arguing. That's this, oh, okay. no, this, that takes us to really agree with you. Like, okay, you at least decided to go with it. To see what happens. So, yeah, I decided to go with it, and then the only reason we can get it now is to get getting all these rocks. Which I really kind of cheated. Yeah, thanks for nice that. that. Pointing it out. We had already done it. See? Kind of like that. So. They're semi-intelligent AI. Semi. Semi-intelligent AI. Because if they were smart, they would just launch rocks at me and stay in the ground so I can't take them. So they're obviously not that smart. Either that or they like me. They're sort of like fish where they just jump out of the water. Except in this case, it's sand. Weird worms, you just dig. Very effective. <laughs> I was about to say it's super effective. It's super effective. 
that I could, except for Eleanor. But yeah, I, I thought it froze. And of course, the blue one is not dependent, the dependent of wisdom, wisdom. <laughs> it's dependent of power, because that makes sense with every other Zelda game. Because red is usually the color of power. Yeah. In most games. So now I've escaped the dungeon with the new ability to pick up the rocks. Which is incredibly exciting. <laughs> incredibly exciting. What is that? Yeah. I think in the last play for Boogeyman. In the original commentary, I think I can count it. Like a combination of a sand monster and a Goron or something. It just looks really nice. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, right, and then, don't even know. And then this is me finding the same fairy that yeah, this I is did last for, time. This is uh, Red X forgetting that he was in here a couple of episodes back. Going in, and then remembering he was in here a couple of episodes back. And then leaving. Alright! Those episodes! We actually remember the same commentary. Apparently, Rock is almost as good as testing, uh, well, soon, but then we can lift the giant rocks. And... Keys! <laughs> and we can, and... Like, it's can't so walk. I can't walk. It can make a walking animation, but you can't walk. Why would you be able to make a walking animation to walk? But that doesn't look like that. Like, it's... Video game logic. But now well, we're, this uh... Is the this is the aforementioned... Game. Game. Short game. Short game. <laughs> you mentioned a couple of them. So which game has one? Hooray for shortcuts. But, yeah, sort of like, uh, Error was commenting earlier about how, like, oh, that's probably a shortcut. I'm gonna be able to pick it yeah. up later. And that was correct. Hooray! So, I have played too many Zelda games. This is, uh, so we're gonna cut it off for now. And we're gonna see you next time when we go for the Pendant of Power. Goodbye. Bye.